Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how advanced searches can get you faster and more precise results for your online investigations. Let's start with Google Search Engine. We're going to use search operators, which can be a combination of words and symbols that really narrow down your results to make sure you're only getting the results that will help your investigation. I'm working on some stories about Nigeria, so I'm going to use examples from there. First up, quotation marks. Quotation marks can be really useful if you want to find a group of words that are linked together. So for example, I'm going to look for Nigerian fuel subsidy. I'm going to put those three words in between quotation marks. And that way, I will only get pages and articles that include that exact group of words. So I click on search. And now I see that all the results I got back include the words Nigerian fuel subsidy. So it worked. Now let's imagine the opposite. What if I want to only get pages and articles that don't include those words? I can use the minus sign. For example, let's say I want to find articles about Bola Tinubu. He was just elected president of Nigeria in February, but I don't want any articles that include the word subsidy. I'm going to put a minus sign, and then I'm going to write the word subsidy. So looking through my search results, I see something about Tinubu writing to the Senate, I see him talking about the Nigerian economy. And make sure when you do this that there is no space between the minus sign and the word you want to exclude, otherwise it won't work. So I'll show you what that would look like. So I have a minus, a space, and then subsidy. I click search, and there's plenty of articles that come up about the subsidy. So you need to make sure there's no space between the minus sign and the word you want to exclude. Some of these search operators work on other search engines like Bing, and you can find a list of the search operators that work on Bing on this page here. Let's look at another tool. Let's say you're using the search bar and you're just not getting the results that you want. You can use a search operator to look within a particular website, and often this will get you better results than the website's own search engine. All right, here's an example. Let's say I want to find Nigeria's 2022 state house budget. I'm gonna go to the presidency's welcome page. Okay, I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to copy the URL, but I'm not going to copy the part that includes the HTTPS. I'm just going to take statehouse.gov.ng. I'm going to open a new window, and then I'm going to type site, colon, and then I'm going to copy paste the URL I'd taken from the website. From there, I'm going to write state house budgets and click search. Okay, so my results show me the state house budget from the statehouse.gov website, as well as some other potential options that could be interesting. Just like with the minus sign, be sure that there's no space between the word site and the colon, otherwise it's not gonna work. Let's say you only wanna find a specific type of document, like a PDF or a Word doc. There's another search operator you can use to narrow down the file type that comes back in your search results. So in this case, I'm going to leave site colon statehouse.gov.ng. I'm going to leave statehouse budget and I'm going to add file type as one word, colon, and then PDF. Click search. And now I can see that my results are only documents that come back as a PDF from the internal statehouse.gov website. So there you see we can combine different types of search operators to really narrow down our results and only get the things that we're interested in. Another really helpful tool is searching for articles and pages published on a certain date. Now let's say I want to find all the articles written about the Nigerian presidential election and I only want them on the day of the election, so February 25th. I'm going to type in Nigerian presidential election, great, click search. Now looking at these results, I see a Wikipedia page, some coverage from the BBC, videos from March 1st, an article from March 9th, so on. And I really only want results from the day of the election. Here's how I can narrow it down. I'm gonna go up back to the search bar and right below I see a tools. I'm gonna click on that. And now I see any time pop up. When I click on any time, I see that I can make a custom range and I'm going to make that custom range the day of the election. So February 25th and click on go. Okay, great. So now I see that all of my results are from February 25th. We have an ABC article from the 25th, from the BBC. That's great. 
Oh, and just be careful when you're putting in the dates, it's automatically the month, day, year format by default. So just make sure you're putting in the right date. Finally, several search engines actually let you run an advanced search, and this is basically just an alternative if you don't want to type in the search operators into the search bar. So let's talk about how that works for Google. I'm back on the Google homepage, and I see in the bottom right settings, I'm going to click on that, and then I see advanced search, and now I can basically run a search using all the different options I see here. Yahoo's search engine also offers a similar option. If you like this video, check out our YouTube playlist and you're going to find a ton more videos about how to conduct online investigations. And if you're a journalist or a journalism student and you're looking for more in-depth courses, definitely check out AFP's digital courses at digitalcourses.afp.com.